So Guru is 1600 attack, 1800 defense. That makes him 34 34. So control decks normally have a lot of trouble pushing out a lot of damage, but with this card, you're doing 34 to the face every turn. Guess who's back? It's a Spiral Hipster! Spiral Hipster. Zach, what's going on, man? Oh, nothing much. Just built some uh, really, really fun new deck that just came out in Savage Strike. Thank you, Konami, for giving us Subterror Guru. Today, children, we are going to learn Subterrors. Welcome to his class, Zach's Welcome. class. Welcome. <laughs> so what does right. this deck do? So basically, the entire deck, it's kind of like Trickstar in that it has a one-card engine. Yeah. Terraforming searches you the field spell, field spell searches you Guru, and then Guru, front there, you control the game. Guru gets a search every time he's flipped, and so the cards he searches become basically a way to control the game. You take one for one trades with your opponent, so you grind them down to few resources. Uh, Subterra Guru is a Book of Moon on legs, so it's really good for stunning your opponent out. And because of the way that they're typed, uh, their stats, it's really good with floodgates. And I'll, I'll get into that. Oh, wow! Yeah. So cool. So uh, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, best card in the deck right here. Three Subterra Guru. Ah, oh, the Guru. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Level four Earth. Dragon flip effect monster. If he's flip face up, you add any sub terror card, not just monster, from your deck to your hand. That's a hard once per turn. And then once per turn, you can book a moon himself and an opponent's monster. And if you control another sub terror monster, I think actually card. Yeah, sub terror card, then you can do it as a quick effect. What? Yeah. And there are ways to flip him on your opponent's turn so you can get the search. And the best search off a of guru is Bay right here. Oh, the Fiendus. Fiendus. Think of her as Ash Blossom, but for any card. Like negates anything. Negates anything. Wow. Negates anything. So she has two effects. Okay. First effect is when a card or effect is activated by your opponent, you discard her right. and then target a sub-terror you control, negate the activation, and flip it face down. <laughs> so even if the monster uh, gets destroyed or removed from the field, yeah. as long as you had a legal target uh -huh. at the beginning, then it still negates and the monster just goes away. But otherwise, so yeah, you flip Guru face down, and then once you flip Guru fa face up again, then you get another search. Yes. This is your best hand trap, and you can keep adding this back. There's a card in the deck that lets you add it back from the graveyard. Oh, really? So yeah, you just keep accruing advantage over and over and over again. Just keep saying no to your opponent. It never ends. It never ends. It's once amazing. Once Guru goes up. Oh. Once Guru's on the field, you're toast. And then two Archer. Okay. This is basically Giant Rat. So if she dies by battle or card effect, uh -huh. you get to special a sub-terror out of your deck and face up or face down defense. Okay. So, Guru. And her on-field effect is kind of cool too. If you control another sub-terror monster and she controls a face, or she attacks a face down defense position monster, you can just shuffle it. Yeah, so it's really good for spot removal, just getting rid of opponent's monsters. Unfortunately, Master Rule 4 kind of hurts this whole thing because of Link monsters, but if you book a moon them before they make link monsters, it doesn't matter. You just stop them from getting to those link monsters. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I like her at two. Just more monsters. And then I've been testing this. I like the lizard at one. So this one, all the subterra behemoths have the same effect. If a monster you control is flipped face down and you control no face up monsters, you can special summon this guy for free, face up or face down in defense. Okay. And then all the behemoths once per turn, yeah. you can just flip themselves face down. Oh, really? Yeah. Do yep. Okay. And this is the good one because when he's flipped face up, you target a monster your opponent controls, banish. What? So really? he's just, he's a BLS banish. Does it target or does it target? It does target, but okay. it doesn't destroy, so it's really good. Yeah, it's nice. And I forgot to mention Fiendus' other effects. Oh, yep. So Fiendus. While it's on the field, yeah. you can target any monster you control, okay. flip it face down, and this part doesn't target. You special summon a sub-terror from your hand or graveyard in face-up or face-down defense. Oh, that's so, why I only play one of this guy. Exactly. So okay, even okay, if okay. they get rid of this, yes. you can still special it back uh -huh. and then flip it up, banish a monster. It's just... Okay, okay. Makes sense. Now. It's dumb. So yeah, oh, the, wow. the loops and the control are what make this deck good. Okay. So that's your entire Subterra monster core. How it's only... Monsters? I think it's nine. nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Stay in school, kids. I will stay in school. <laughs> and then for the rest of the deck, because the engine is so tiny, yep. you just play hand traps. Ash, Ash. Ogre, Bell, whatever you want. I'm poor, so I play Ogre. Okay. 
And this is the actual best card in the deck, Hidden City. Hidden City, okay. So we played five of them, because that's how many Konami lets us play. Hidden City's amazing. Okay. On activation, it's like Trickstar Light Stage or any of those other field spells. You add any sub terra monster from your deck to your hand on activation. Uh -huh. It's a hard once per turn. And once per turn, you get to flip a face down sub terra, face up, just for free. Okay. So it's Book of Taiyu. Yep. And then it's also a negate attack. If your opponent attacks you, yeah. you flip a face down sub terra, face up, and negate the attack. So. Uh -huh. Flip Guru face up, negate attack, search. <laughs> or, flip oh, face guy. up, negate attack, banish. Dun, dun, dun. It's so good. So good. So good! Alright, so we, we want to play five of these. Because it's too strong. Too strong for your own good. Yep. And this is not supposed to be Desires. This is supposed to be the new card, Pot of Extravagance. Let's see magic. Magic. Okay. Use your imaginations, kids. Ooh. So yeah, this is just free pot of greed for the deck because you literally you don't care about your extra deck at all. You play three Mrs. Radiant and a couple of good Earth Link monsters that really don't come up. Yeah. So you just have three pot of greed. Nothing else to say. Yeah, literally, just draw, 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 draw. And it doesn't conflict with pot of duality because pot of duality adds three of this. Okay. Yeah, and you don't special summon hardly ever. So. Yeah. Three pot of duality. You just want to see your engine cards as fast as possible. Guru, 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 guru. field card, guru. Subterra Cape Clash. This is that card I told you about that can add back. Okay. So all subterra monsters gain attack and defense for every face down uh, defense position monster on the field. Okay. That's not really important, but it can come up. Yeah. And once per turn, when a subterra monster inflicts battle damage, yeah. you get to target a subterra sub card in your graveyard, add it back to your hand. Okay. Yeah, so it's like that's how you get the fiendus back and keep negating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is one of your late game plays that you search with Guru. These are impermanences because I'm poor. But just again, imagine. Imagine it. Yeah, and I'd probably play three, but imagine. I'm borrowing two from Grant. Shout outs to him again. Thank you, Grant. Yeah. One scapegoat? It doesn't even matter that it's at one. Uh -huh. This is just kind of a sack. Card. It's a power yeah. card now, yeah. Boom. Yeah, you flip it face up, and then you just get like two free misses Radiant, and you push for a ton of damage. Oh, yeah, wow. That's all you're really doing with it. But you can also do fun stuff like under Gozen Match, yeah. which, spoiler alert, you can play Gozen Match in this deck because they're all Earth. Uh, scapegoat can give you two misses Radiant. It can give you uh, Mrs. Radiant and Link Spider turns into Ningirsu to get rid of problem cards. Okay. Like, yep. and you can do it all under Gozen Match, which yeah. is insane. Awesome. So yeah, Scapegoat's too strong. Fantastic. Then two Subterra Final Battle. Oh, what is this? This card is insane. So many effects. There's like yeah. four dots. Four different effects, <laughs> but I'm just gonna simplify it. Okay, go. So it's Book of Moon. Yes. Book of Taiyu. Okay. Uh, Altergeist Protocol, so Subterra Monster effects can't be negated during this turn. And then the fourth effect is it just combines the attack and defense of one Subterra until the end of the turn. So Guru is 1600 attack, 1800 defense. That makes him 34 34. So control decks normally have a lot of trouble pushing out a lot of damage, but with this card, you're doing 34 to the face every turn. Wow. It's ridiculous. And the best thing about this card yeah. is that at resolution, it doesn't go to the graveyard, it goes back face down. What? So it's Scrap Iron Scarecrow, too. This is the acting, acting. Oh, exactly. Wow. And it's not once per turn, so if you have multiple copies, yeah. you can use one to, like, say, you can't negate, yeah. and then you can use another one to flip a monster face up and then banish or get a search or whatever the hell it is you want to do. And so this is where the skill comes in. It's like, depending on what your opponent does, you get to decide what to do with final battle. Yeah. Do you want to leave the subterra face up so you can negate with Fiendus? Do you want to flip it face up so you can banish with the Lostrix? Yeah. Do you want to, in, in the damage step, do you want to combine attack and defense so your, your guy can't be killed? Like, this just came up in testing. Yeah. I activate Fiendus, he chains Call by the Grave to target another Fiendus in Grave, yeah. and I flip this and say, Subterra effect activations, or activated effects of Subterras can't be negated. Oh. So, it's still banished, yeah. but the Fiendus still resolves because it can't be negated. Okay. So it's pretty legit. That's mad good. Yeah, and you can search this off Guru, again, it's insane. Awesome. Absolutely insane. And then Floodgates, because... Floodgates. Goes in match. They're all Earth. Altergeist cries. Sky Striker cries. Every deck cries besides Every deck cries except for me. Cry for you. Q, arms of an angel. Oh. <laughs> and then there can be only one. I might okay. bump this to three, see if I can find the space. But all the subterrors are also different types. Oh. 
So, uh, Guru is a dragon. Fiendus is a spellcaster. Uh, Umastrix is a reptile. You literally, you don't care. You can play all these floodgates. It's amazing. And you're just sitting on one Guru anyway. It's so relaxing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? Look at him. Look, Skull Serpent. He's just trying to have a good time going on vacation. But he's going through security. He says, he says, no, only one zombie allowed. Government shut down. Government shut down. Yikes. And then we play five solemns, because why not? Strike! Warning! Judgment! You're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Nope. No way! Uh-uh. No way! Uh-uh! So that is 41 cards right now. I think I'm going to try and make it 40. Uh, but that's just me testing the lizard. Yeah. So it's... It's been working really well so far. I can show the uh, the initial combo. It gives you a plus two. Oh, I'm excited for that. And then for the extra deck, extra deck, you can just run a bunch of good Link Earth monsters. So you have the Link Spider, yep. Reprodocus, because you can. Phoenix comes up sometimes. Unicorn comes up sometimes. Summon Sork never comes up, but maybe Cherry's target. Yeah. Saryuja is also an Earth. So if you need to mulligan your hand, you can. I guess. Nagirsu, Earth. Yep. Mrs. Radiant, I need a third one. The Earth. Yeah, you board in subterrors. Get on the no. And then Cerberus is also an Earth. Yeah. Cerberus. So it's just it's too strong. And it's not even 15. Just like play a couple of cherries targets and then yeah. play a bunch of Earths and you're good. But you don't even need the extra deck. Not at all. It's just there. For yeah, it's it's literally just there for cherries and for the pot. Like it's just too good. For the main event, would you main deck uh, cherries? I don't know if I would main cherries because I'm still expecting Thunder Dragons to be strong. I'm yeah. still expecting like Sky Striker to be strong, and cherries doesn't hurt them that much. Yeah. Like and I you guess. Play that pot card too. It's yeah, and the pot card is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, let me show the the combo oh, that gets see, you. See, see, see. So Literally, you all you need is terraforming. That's it. One card. One card combo. Or the hidden rest city. Of, yeah, yeah, or hidden city. So terraforming. Oh, okay. What am I gonna search? Gets you hidden city. Oh, hidden I city. Know. You search Guru. Okay. You set Guru. Okay. Then use hidden city effect to flip a monster face up. Huh? So oh, Guru effect. Away. You have a negate. Oh, it negates anything you want if you have yeah. this thing. Fiendus negates anything and flips Guru face down. Wow. And if you already have the Fiendus, yeah. then what you do is instead you search final battle. Oh, the thing I can flip it upside down. Yeah. Oh, wow. So now you have a negate. And you can make him 3,400. That's nuts. It's insane. That's nuts. It's so so yeah, because you have this one card engine, yeah. the rest of your hand can be hand traps, it can be solemns, it can be floodgates. You don't care. Yeah. All you need is terraforming. That's it. It's just, it's broken. Oh, I like this. Yeah, yeah, and this is a plus two on activation. Yeah. So plus one Hidden City gets you Guru. Guru gets you another plus one. So you're starting your turn with seven cards instead of five. That's fantastic. This is finally a road yeah. deck to get one card. Exactly. Back. Finally a road deck to do it's that. It's amazing. And then if you have the pot card, yeah. you start with eight cards because you banish six out of your extra deck, you draw two, you have six cards now. Then you activate Hidden City. Yeah. Hidden City gets you the plus two. You have eight cards. It never ends. Oh, that's so good, so good. Yeah, and Pot of Duality lets you uh, dig for those side deck cards. It lets you dig for the Hidden City and the Terraforming. This deck is just so consistent. It is consistent. I see it. There's one card. It's amazing. Yeah. Any deck with one card combos, amazing. Absolutely insane. So yeah, yeah. once you once you grinded out your opponent, then you know you, you use your fiendus, whatever. You flip your guru face up. You can get to you can get to this point pretty easily where you get archer. Yeah. So you normal summon archer after that. Use guru effect, book of moon on opponent's monster. Then use hidden city, flip it face up, guru search. So this is where you get the recursion. Okay. So you add Cave Clash. Ah, oh, okay, there you go. So you activate Continuous Spell. You have a Fiendus in the grave probably because yeah. you've negated. Yep. And then Nemesis Archer says while well, you control another Subterror, uh -huh. if she attacks at the start of the damage step, yep. she just shuffles it back. So it just it gets the monster you just book a moon with Guru, yeah. you get to shuffle it. Bye bye. And then if they have a clear board, Guru attacks. Yeah. Final battle makes him 3,400 damage. And then Cave Clash, target Fiendus, add back Fiendus. You have another final battle. You have a negate. Oh. So you're just playing this control game. It's so oh, it so oh. broken. Oh. But yeah, that's basically the bread and butter of the deck. Yeah. That's really all you need to know about it. You just play it, test it, get good with it, run the right floodgates. And because the engine is so small, you can make meta calls. Like, is Ash Blossom going to be yes, good? Yeah. I'll play that. Is Ghost Ogre going to be good? I'll play that. Yeah. You get to make those decisions. You play you decide, you exactly. It yeah. It's like Trickstar. Yep. Like, except Trickstar sucks. Yeah, the Southern Girl. And, uh, yeah. Get the, I don't want no lollies in here. No way. Get away. No we want, no. We want dragons. 
We want good girls. Yeah. She's actually bae. She's my one of my favorite cards ever. Oh, really? This looks really awesome. Look at it. So pretty. Oh, yeah. Look at that giant-ass bow, too. <laughs> and she's even got a little pet right there. You see him? Oh. Look at Gusto. So, so yeah. cute. <laughs> super cute. Any well, yeah. comments? Uh... I can't wait to get those pot of extravagance. If someone can hook me up, let me know, because I'm still broke. Help broke boy Zach. Ah, comment if you want to help him out. <laughs> Donate to his cause. Go fund me. Go fund <laughs> Zach, the spiral hipster. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>